everyone! Today I will be making this tea bag holder using one of the new stamp sets from the Holiday Mini Catalog. And this is the cold and cuddly stamp set that's available in the Mini Catalog. I have my imaging sheet that I made when I got the stamp set. And I'm going to go ahead and set that up on the paper. Ink up my stamp. Press it down. Okay, and now I am going to stamp this penguin and I'm going to be using the markers to do this so that I can get a multicolored image. Okay, so I'm going to take my markers and I will be using the Summer Sun marker, Basic Black, and Real Red. And these are dual tipped markers, so you have a fine tip on one side and a brush tip on the other. And these are really great for if you want to perfectly match your project with writing on the inside and then you can use the brush tip to color your stamps. So first I'm going to take my Summer Sun marker and color in the beak. Then I'm going to take my Real Red marker and color in the heart. And then Basic Black and color in the eyes and the body. Set this down so that's all ready to go. Okay. And then I'm going to make him a little hat by taking the stamp from the same stamp set. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiment which is really cute. It says, here's some love to keep you warm. And I thought that was really great for a tea bag holder. So I'm going to go ahead and punch out this oval first because it's a lot easier to hold this larger piece of paper. So I'm going to line it up. Punch it out. I'm going to set that aside for later. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be cutting out each one of these stamped images. So, to make it easier on myself, I'm going to go ahead and cut around each one. Okay, now the trick to cutting out stamped images and um, cut it out nicely and easily is to, as you're cutting, you want to move your paper more than you're moving your scissors. And I never go all the way to the end of the scissors, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to cut all these out. So I have all of my images cut out. And so now what I'm going to do is set those aside. And I have a piece of craft cardstock that is cut to three and a half inches by eight and a half inches. And I am going to score that at three and one fourth inches and at seven inches. So here you see I have a scored at three and one fourth inches and then at seven inches. I'm going to go ahead and pre-fold that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, this will be the pocket that holds the tea bag and what I'm going to do is take my adhesive and put it on the very edge of the pocket and then adhere that down okay 
Now I have a piece of not quite navy cardstock that is cut to three inches by two and three fourths inches. And I'm going to adhere that to the front. I'm going to use my GERD paper to line that up so I can get it perfectly in the middle. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start adhering my elements to the card or to the tea bag holder on the front. So put some adhesive on all of the pieces. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to take my scallop oval punch and I'm going to punch a piece of old olive cardstock. and adhere my sentiment down on that. Here's a tea bag that I had and then this fits perfectly inside so you can close it like that. And I'm going to use that in there while I tie my ribbon around so that I can accommodate for that extra depth. Tie some ribbon, and this is old olive, one fourth inch grow grain ribbon. Cut that. And I'm going to have that on this side, right there. Okay, I'm going to slip that off for now. Take this out. Now, you could have your everything on here just like that. Or you can do what I did with mine and kind of take it to the next level. So, and I got this snowflake from the Snow Swirls stamp set. So I'm actually going to take some of our new shimmer paint from the Holiday Mini Catalog and this is the frost white color. And then open it up and there will be a pool of ink on the inside of the lid and you can just take one of our sponge daubers, pick up some ink, and dab it on the stamp. Okay. You can use your stamp on the for this, but I kind of just like to eyeball it. Okay, I'm going to open it up and use Not Quite Navy for the inside and I'm going to stamp some snowflakes as well. So I'm going to do the same thing. And that just adds a little extra to your project. Okay, so I'm going to put this tea bag back in there so you can see how it all comes together. And if you want, you can stamp the rest of the tea bag holder but I'm just going to leave it like this and then I'm going to slip the ribbon back on okay then the last thing for our holder okay and there's the project hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching